Hello guys, welcome back. This is gonna be episode six of Close Your Eyes and Imagine. So what I want you to do is close your eyes, drift off to dreamland while you listen to the story. So a little recap where we left off is he made his boat, he got into his boat, he pushed his boat into the ocean and now he's drifting in the ocean. Well, not drifting because when he got into the boat, he thought about motorboats, motorboats, boats with motors. So he also thought about his wind magic. So he decided to try and use the wind magic to be kind of like a motor and it worked. So just going pretty fast in the water, just going along and about 30 minutes to an hour has passed so far and he just keeps going straight and off in the distance like pretty far he could barely see it sees a glimpse of an island so he starts going towards the island as he gets closer and closer it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and as he got to the shore, he can't even see in the end of the island. So he maybe thinks to himself, maybe this is an island. Maybe I found a continent. continent. Maybe I found a large body. Maybe there's a town near. So what he does is he puts his wind magic and kind of hovers over the forest. And all he can see is just forest for miles and miles and miles. So, to not be suspicious, he thinks of flying just just, just a couple miles. And, and not flying fast because he doesn't know how to control his powers yet. So, he doesn't want to try it. So, he's going real slow, just hovering, barely hovering above the trees. And as he's hovering above the trees and looking down, he starts seeing creatures in the forest creatures that he's never seen before but he has seen them in drawings not in real life but in drawings and in shows and movies they're like wolf-like creatures but bigger he sees hogs but they're knocking down trees he sees silver wolves as tall as a boulder or better yet to give it a spell as tall as a regular car so he's thinking to himself did I get transported to another world he's kind of thinking to himself that would make sense with all these magic gadgets and stuff that I have on me so he just keeps flying and he keeps seeing more stuff. And, and what really confirmed it for him is he's seen a rock creature, like, like a golem, a rock golem, just roaming around. And he runs into wolves and he sees the wolves and golems fighting. That solidifies it right there for him. That somehow he got transported to another world. Many things to itself. <sighs> I know I wanted a new adventure, but I didn't think I was going to get transported to another world. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Would I be able to go home? All of these thoughts just running through his mind over and over. So he sees a mountain off in the distance about hundred yards out to the right from where he was going so instead of keep going straight he adjusts his, his stance and starts going towards the mountain because he remembers he did find a cave in that banded island and he did get some cool gadgets that gave him power so he was thinking to himself maybe I'll get lucky and get some more so he goes towards the mountain as he gets closer and closer 
he starts feeling a pressure on his body, like some weird force field is altering the gravity and it's way heavier. And he gets a little bit closer and he gets knocked to the ground real fast. Boom, slammed into the ground. And he, he, he's, he manages to scoot his way back to where it's less harder to stand and stuff. And he stands up and he runs the opposite direction to where he can't feel none of that gravity no more. And he just starts looking around, up and down, wondering what to do. And he and he looks around and he sees a pack of wolves. They see him, he sees them. They start running towards him. And he thinks, if this is a fantasy world, would I be able to level up? Would I be able to, if I kill them, would I be able to level up? And he just starts thinking of himself like like those mangas and stuff that I've read. If they're true, maybe if I kill them, I'll be able to level up. But he does not want to fight them head on. He thought, maybe I could use this gravity stuff to suppress them and then attack from above. So he waits as they get closer, closer closer and they jump at him and then he moves out with his wind magic push him to the side real fast and then he pushes himself up so he hovers but the wolves are in the midair and he uses a little bit of his wind power to give him a little bit more push and they go more into the gravity field and they go boom they slam to the ground like he did and they're suppressed there and as he did with the guys from the island, he made a little blade from his hand. But this time, he imagined it, leaving his hand and making a swoosh in the sky, like, like a blade floating in the air, flying through the air. So he does that and he slashes down. And the, and the thin line of air just flows from his hand uh, from the direction he flung it and in one fell swoop they're cut in half and as they but died he heard a ding level two and when he hit level two he thought to himself and mongas and stuff if they say stat window a stat window pops up. He thought, I never said that, so maybe it'll work here. So he goes, stat window. And sure enough, a stat window pops up. And he says, it says his name, his age, his race, his sex, what level he is, his skills, his, um, his XP points, his mana, and then his uh, stat points down below. And he's looking at it, says, okay. And he starts reading them one by one by one. But that's for next episode. You guys got to tell me what is his stats and what skills what one special skill that he didn't get from his bracelets but like got for transferring like how they always get one you either get one or two you guys can pick you guys pick his stats and a special skill he gets that's all up to you guys and i'll see you guys next episode bye